Hey everyone, Blauke at Cove here, and today we're going to be going over how to set up Touch Portal with Lumia Stream. Now, before we begin, this does work on both the free and premium version of Lumia Stream, but it only works on the premium version of Touch Portal. So you will need their premium service to get this working. This is because Lumia Stream works as a plugin within Touch Portal and they don't allow any other plugins other than their own in the free versions. As an alternative, we do have Lumia Link that you could download for free on both the Google and App Store. You could also set this up in OBS as well. But the only thing with our Lumia Link, it's a bit more limited than Touch Portal. There aren't like events and different things like that. But if you just need to trigger a regular chat command, then you know you can do that with our lumia link system pretty easily so i can just press saves click that and then there we go but let's move on to the main tutorial of touch portal so for touch portal you're going to need to download it from touch-portal.com press touch hyphen portal go to downloads and press touch portal it'll bring you to the page here and select your platform so i'm going to download this on windows and if you're using you know android or ios make sure you download that on the play store or app store and get that set up. Now, after you download this, click the installer and it'll take you through the steps of how to install Touch Portal and you'll be brought to a screen where you have to restart. We're not doing that portion of the tutorial at the moment because you know we're recording at the moment, but we skipped that and we will fast forward to the portion of you know what comes after the restart. And then before we go though, make sure you also download Lumia Stream, go to lumiastream.com get Lumia Stream and download and install it. Okay, so there's two options you could do from here. You can go to Lumia Stream, go to connections, touch portal, type in touch portal after you press add new connection, press connect, and now you can download the plugin, which will automatically install the plugin into touch portal. You can also download the page and download the icon pack and then press next. So now you set up Touch Portal on Lumia Streams end, but you haven't set it up on Touch Portal's end. So after you install all, all of those different things, you have to restart Touch Portal. So you're gonna have to go to your tab bar and you're gonna have to you know, exit out of Touch Portal and then open Touch Portal back up. But now it asks you, you have installed a plugin called Lumia Stream Touch Portal plugin that is not trusted by you. Does, you know, just press trust always or press okay. Uh, so now press okay. And now you'll see on Lumia Stream, you'll see the green check mark show up on the Touch Portal. So now let's create the Lumia Stream page on Touch Portal. So I can just click this drop down and press Lumia Stream page and automatically it'll create all of the buttons for you that you, you know, will most likely be using. So at this point, I'm going to go to my mobile app. It's going to make me go through the different steps. And then I'm going to press OK if I want to find my connected devices on my local network. I'm gonna press OK and it could not find it. So now I'm going to go to Touch Portal and I'm going to look at my IP address. So I'm just going to type that into my app. I'm going to press connect and it looks like it worked. So now at this point, I just see a blank screen. That's because my main screen is just blank. So if I go to Lumia Stream page, I can set this as my default page. I'll press the settings icon and set as default page. And I'm also going to just create a button on my main page. I'm going to open up navigation and I'm going to say go to page and choose my page as the Lumia stream page. I'm just going to say Lumia stream and I'm going to press save. For some reason, my page wouldn't update on side my mobile app. So I have to create this button. So now on my mobile app, you'll see Lumia stream shows up. And when I press that, it would show my Lumia stream page. So on my small iPhone, I can't fit everything on side of this page. So I'm actually going to change some of these buttons. Like I don't need clear Q. I'm going to open up clear Q and change what this button does. So in touch portal, I'm going to set my button. I'm going to click Lumia stream and let's say I want to trigger a command. So I'm going to press activate command. I'm going to delete that first action and I'm going to select my command. So all of your commands will show up here at this point. So if I want to turn on green, I can do that and I can change this button. I can say green. Okay, so there's one issue that I came across. It says I need the Pro upgrade for using the plugin system. I kind of forgot that you actually need to upgrade the Touch Portal Pro. After I upgrade, I can press green and my lights will change to green. If I press blue, you'll see my lights will change to blue and so on and so forth. So you can do this similar thing with pretty much everything. Uh, so I even have a text to speech button to quickly, you know, welcome Lumia Stream here. Welcome Lumia Stream. You can hear that. I have a button to, you know, toggle fuse on and off a regular command. So this is gets you set up really quickly. So you could just set up any command you have here. So I can say, uh, let's just do yellow. 
trigger that command and my lights turn to yellow. And then you could even get, you know, deeper into it. Let's create another, let's create another row. So I have options for more buttons here. I'm going to go to Lumia stream and let's say I just want to activate a generic color. I don't want to set up a chat command beforehand within Lumia. So I go to set color and I can choose my color here. Let's say I want this type of color, brightness 100 and transition zero seconds. Duration, I only want this to trigger for, let's say 6,000 milliseconds, which is six seconds. Now I'll call this, what is that color? Like a marine color, press save. Oh, I didn't select my icon, so let me, let me select my icon. I just want a regular color. I just want a regular color icon. Make sure you press this icon full button size. And then I also want to move this to the bottom of the button. So press save. Now I can trigger my marine color and you'll see that marine color show up just like that. So some of the other options you could do within touch portal is of course, you know, toggle and Lumia on and off setting your, you know, state back to default in case something goes wrong. You can clear your queue in case something is, you know, clogged up. You can toggle fuse, send text to speech, send a chat bot message as well. You can activate any command that you create within Lumia stream. So if I go to Lumia stream, I can create literally any command here and then use that. Actually, let's set that up really quick. I'm just gonna call this TP. And I just want this color to change to this purplish pinkish color. So I pressed apply. I wanna activate command. And now I should see TP show up. I'll press, well, let me set this up. I'll press save. And I, I won't set any background color at the moment. Let's just get this running. And my lights change to pink, just like that. You can activate your Twitch points commands, your Twitch extension commands, your Trovo spell commands. You know, you can activate a generic color. You can activate with any alert within Lumia stream. So if I want to activate my Twitch raid alert just to test things out, I could. I can even activate some of my studio items. We don't necessarily recommend, you know, activating studio items directly. We recommend creating a chat command for them first and then, you know, triggering that studio item within the chat command. A little more you can do as well. Let's say whenever Lumia stream, you know, streamer mode changes, let's say I want to do something here. So let me delete this and I want to delete this. And I just want to call this event uh, stream streamer mode change. And I can say on event and I can say when streamer mode turns off. When streamer mode turns off, I want to set a color. I want to set a color to white. I'm going to press save here. And now when I turn streamer mode off, you'll see my light change to white just like that. So you can do events within Lumia. We have three different events when Lumia turns on or off, when stream mode changes and when fuse changes. So when fuse turns on and off, when Lumia turns on and off and when you turn stream mode on and off, then you have events set up for that as well. But that's the gist of touch portal. Of course, you can combine touch portal with multiple different, you know, plugins that they have different, you know, events that they have different actions. You can, you know, just trigger a generic audio outside of Lumi if you want to. So many options here you can do with Touch Portal. Relatively simple to set up. There are some kinks, but once you have everything going, it'll be very easy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any issues that come up, we'll try to help you in the comments. Visit our Discord, download our Twitch extension, and so much more. We'll have all the links that we went over in this video in the description down below. And make sure you all have a luminous day.